Hi guys, in this session we're going to be looking at simple linear equations and solving them. All right, to get started, the first question, we've got x plus 7 equals 10. So with rearranging, if you remember, if you look at the previous um, video in this series, you will know that we can simply do this as x is equal to 10. And because this is positive 7, when we shift it to the other side, it becomes minus 7. And so this then becomes x is equal to 3. That's it. It's basically all that we need to do um, for this. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's nothing more to it. I mean, that's basically it. So let's go on to another an, uh, another example. No, actually, wait, I'll show you guys another way of doing this as well. So the other way of doing this would be when you have x plus 7 equals 10. You want to have x by itself. You want to have x as the subject of the formula so that you can actually figure out what it is. So the other way of doing this would be I take away 7 from both sides. And on the left-hand side, I have x. 7 minus 7 is 0. I leave my equal sign. 10 minus 7 is 3. And as you can see, same kind of ideology, same answer. Okay, next one. In this case, I've got x minus 3 equals 10. So if I have that, then I'm going to have x equals 10. And shifting the minus 3 to the right-hand side is going to make it positive 3. Therefore, x is equal to 13. Now, once again, doing it a different method, which is um, balancing the equations, I've got negative 3. The opposite of negative 3 is positive 3 which means I've also got to add positive 3 on the other side, which means I get x, negative 3, and positive 3 equals 0. 10 plus 3 is 13. And as you can see, once again, same answer. All right, next one, dealing with multiplication. So I have 3x is equal to 12, which means x is equal to 12. Now, remember, 3 is getting multiplied here which means when it's moved to the other side, it will become divide. So therefore, x is equal to 4. It's one way of doing it. And another way of doing this would be 3x over 12. Divide both sides by 3. And I have 3 and 3 cancel out, which means I have x is equal to 4. Once again, same answer. Two different methods, same answer. And now looking at division, folks. So, because in this case, you've got x is being divided by 2. So, remember that this fraction is actually divided. So, when we move the 2 to the right-hand side, because it's being divided by 2, it will become multiplied by 2, and therefore, x is equal to 20. All right. Now, if I was to do this the other way, um, because x is being divided by 2, I need to multiply by 2 on both sides, and what happens is my two 2's here get cancelled out, and you're left over with x equals to 20. And once again, you get same answers. Cool, that's your basic uh, solving um, simple linear equations, folks, and we'll start looking at a bit more uh, challenging ones in the next series of videos. All right, thank you for watching, and as usual, any questions, pop it in the comments, and I'll try and answer them, yeah? Thank you.